promise I will not, I promise I won't use this. Who's lying? Lying first. He's trying to make us calm, you know. <laughs> Let's go. You ready? I'm whenever you are. I'm Victor Cachese. I'm Johnny Allen. I'm Ian Rosenbaum. I'm Terry We are Sandbox Percussion. Ian. <laughs> I know this is late. Take two, take two. I know this is late. We'll get it together, Ian. I was contributing in a non-verbal kind of way. Did you not say it? I didn't say it. <laughs> I'm Victor Cachese. I'm Johnny Allen. I'm Ian Rosenbaum. I'm Terry Sweeney. We're Sandbox, Sandbox Percussion. <laughs> and I'm Thomas Kasha. <laughs> <laughs>You know, there's something about percussion that's so simplified. Anyone can just go home and hit something and that and you made the sound that they're making right there in front of you. In part and parcel, Thomas uh, he takes a bunch of, of instruments that you wouldn't ordinarily think of as instruments. When you hear a piano, you hear Beethoven. But when you hear a glass bottle, maybe you hear that time you accidentally dropped one at you know Thanksgiving or something. Part of the thing that I think audiences really like is that you know they come into the space and they see all these instruments, instruments, pieces of wood, glass bottles, trash metal from a junkyard. He has different families of found instruments that he kind of constructed on his own. Something like wood. It is a more mellow tone, a darker, richer sound. Nasty. A short metallic metal plates, I think. And I think we literally just grabbed four random pipes and then just played it once together. And we're like, oh my god, this chord is amazing. We're never changing it. With the glass bottle sound, for me, that is very personal. Clicking bottles together is something that our whole, your whole life you just do and like you, you cheers people. He kind of lets the instruments speak for themselves, I think, um, and just letting the sounds just be beautiful for what they are. So it begins with the wood, and the next one you hear is the glass. And the next one you, oh sorry, begin with the wood. <laughs> I, forgot the, I forgot my piece, my own piece. The opening section, it's just played all on the, on the wood slats. It's just this phrase that we pass down the line of four of us. Dee dee dee. Dee 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 dee. Dee dee. You're like, what? What is that? Everybody sort of leans forward. At the start of the piece, you would never expect it's going to get to where it does at the end. My idea being that we get to the climax where they're all playing finally in unison. You've now revealed every instrument and they're all playing everything together and that's like everything going on at once. I mean, the end of this piece is as violent as we can be on, on these instruments. Eh, intense doesn't quite cover it. <laughs> terrifying. The end of his piece is terrifying. The last note that we hit and he, he just kind of like slams the door on the piece. I mean, that's totally his character. I love being in the audience and I love feeling something. I love getting an emotional reaction of any kind. And when I'm writing my music, it's always on my mind. It's always what I'm thinking about like, oh man, like it's gonna be really quiet here. And I'm, and I'm thinking like, I'm imagining sitting in the audience here in this really quiet bit, you know, and like, oh, then it's gonna get really loud here. It's like, no, I'm, I'm still imagining, I'm in the audience and it's really loud. And then, you know, then Vic's gonna run over there and bang this thing. It's like, oh, that's cool that I'm imagining, him, I'm watching him do that in my head. And then like, yeah, I'm writing that down, that's good.